By the end of the year, the Boardman River will be free flowing where the Brown Bridge Dam has stood since 1922. Soon to be a river reborn, project organizers anticipate strong ecological improvements over the next few years as the Sabin, Brown Bridge and Boardman dams come down. It's going to create a healthier river for sure, you know, because these dams, the ponds uh, heated up the water uh, during the hot summer months of July and August. It would elevate the water temperature from above what was coming into the pond to below what was going out as much as 8 degrees. And the warmer the water, the less oxygen you know, the water holds and trout need higher oxygen. The dam removal project will also allow fish to migrate freely through areas of stream currently blocked by man. All good things, but some feel there needs to be regulation on how far Great Lakes fish can enter the river system. Right now at present for many decades, the upstream limit for the Great Lakes species, invasives and otherwise, uh, has been Sabin Dam. And when Sabin Dam is removed, Brody, uh, it's going to allow certain, uh, the potential for certain things to move upstream from there into what has been a, a protected, uh, self-sustaining wild trout population of brook trout and brown trout. Those overseeing the dam removal project are aware of the threat, but say a solution has not yet been reached on the issue. Uh, Great Lakes fish, you know, there's... Uh, um, that has not, issue has not been decided, and um, there will be more discussions on that in the future. Largen says public input will be taken into consideration on this issue, and there are two sides to the story. Some say let the salmon swim free up the river. Others say there's a need to protect the trout. But the simplest is we have it in place already at Union Street Dam. There's a gate. The gate can be closed. Those species can be stopped. Uh, at Union Street and that river can be totally protected as simple as that. Just keep the gate closed. We like to say, you know, the Boardman is a, is a great river, a great watershed. We say keep it great, close the gate. Public forums will likely be held in 2013 and 2014 when the Sabin and Boardman dams are scheduled to be removed. In Traverse City, I'm Brody O'Connell, 7 and 4 News.